Welcome Diecast fans, I'm Tom Spenners Watson. And I'm Frank the Gary Gibbs. And it's time for another dose of Diecast goodness. First up, the DIRS is at Jackson Pass. Remember to check that out. If you haven't seen the others, check out RTR, Monster Motorsport and Transport Diecast. A reminder, head over to redlinederby.com. If you're looking to enter races, if you're looking for people to enter your races, make sure you get onto the race calendar over there. It's a great resource. You really want to be part of it. Now, we've talked about this a number of times. Subscribing, leaving comments and likes really help all of the channels. So please make sure you do that if you find something you like. Absolutely. And the best part is it doesn't cost you anything to do it. All right, let's kick into it. We're going to start with drag racing over at My Hot Wheels Collection, who were doing the old number five drag race competition. And this was a lot of fun seeing these classic old castings running down the track. Then we go across the Blue Line Racing for the Northeast Beast. And if you're looking for quality drag racing, that's definitely a channel to check out. Wallside Diecast were doing their King of the Wall. And this is just such a fun race. It's a long track with just a couple of tricky bits to it. This part in particular, <laughs> which did not go so well here. Yeah, but I'm pleased to report I'm perfectly okay. Then Hot Wheels Calgary, lots, lots more daily racing. So if you're looking for pure drag racing, no mucking around, that's one you want to check out. Now, speaking of no mucking around, Summers Raceway is another one to have a look at. Just nice, short, sweet racing. And then finally, the police pursuit over at Main Street Races with the crossover in the middle really added to the drama. It was a lot of fun to watch. It sure was fun. You know what else is fun? Some Chaos Canyon merch. So let's cut to a shameless plug for our merchandise store. Release your inner Frank with this classic Give It The Beans t-shirt available from chaoscanyonmerch.online. All right, we're back and into tournaments. We're gonna start off, we mentioned the DIRS at Jackson Pass. It's great to see these guys racing again and man, did they put on an awesome show so far. Maze and Noki Jack there coming from behind to overtake and take the win. It was just a beautiful bit of driving. And for the first time in the DIRS, we had someone with a perfect score. They won all four races, which was just incredible. Well worth a watch, go and check it out. Then it's time for the V8 supercars at the Canyon. So it was the finals this last week. And man, this competition has been fun. There was some brilliant racing. This overtake here by Chris Carhuna to overtake D Platt was just brilliant. Since our last report, Monster Motorsports have been very busy. They've had the Revenge of the Sixth competition, which was a lot of fun with Rubber Toe getting all dressed up for it. But it was also the finals of the Classic Muscle Car Masters tournament, and man, did it provide some great racing action. A lot of fun, and check out the storyline at the end of the video as well. There was more action over at Game Table Cafe. If you haven't seen their channel, have a look. But I like this one with these two cars out in front. The guy right in front gets a nice lead over the whole field, but as he comes out of this second turn, he gets a bit loose, and the guy in behind him picks the line beautifully and just slips right on by him. Now, Tune Tracks had more of the season playoffs, and this one here we really loved. So you see the Lamborghini Super Trofeo and the Ford GT90 battling here, <laughs> and then the Lambo just slams him into the wall because he could see he was about to be overtaken bit harsh but hey man that's racing now 3d bot maker finished up his lambo tournament as well and there was some stunning overtakes in this competition lots of great action and it was nice to see gab formoso back on the track like i like that overtake there where the two cars just slip on the inside of the blue lambo it's very nice Then Eminem Diecast, more great racing action over on his channel. Go and check that one out. It's such a great little track, I really like it. There's been some fantastic overtakes and stuff on that track. And of course, Indiana Diecast racing with their monster sock hop slam. And it was nice to see an eight crate in there. Surprisingly didn't do as well as I thought it would have because we know they're fast. Yeah, but this is just turning out to be such a fun competition and just some great overtakes there. And I love the way that everybody finished, even though that one dude was on his roof for a bit. Then Cleveland City Diecast did a great Ford race series here. And again, 
just some brilliant race action as these guys battled out hard all the way to the finish. A lot of fun over on their channel. Yeah, I've got to say, they do put on a good show. I do enjoy the channel quite a lot. Now, Meal Ticket Raceway doing just a huge competition at the moment, and they're doing something a little bit different with now having three finish lines linked along the track. So it's not just about getting to the end. There's other gates to cross on the way through, but really exciting racing and lots of fun to watch. It is just a ridiculously long track, and I love it. Now Beaverworks had Corvette again, and man, there's so much action on this track. It's not a particularly long track, but that just doesn't matter. Look at this, great bit of racing here, and I love this little skateboard maneuver where he goes up the ramp and then flips off the top and slides back down. It's very cool. All right, War on I-4 was into his supercars tournament, and there is just something about watching this many cars blaze down the track, and look at this. Even though it's lane, there is still plenty of action. We'll see it in the replay. You see this Yesco, which we know is fast from running at the canyon. Look at this, just goes way too hot into that corner and gets flung out across not just one, but two lanes. Yeah, that was quite impressive. Poverty Hollow continued on with his Spectra Flame Wide Open series. And again, some very tight racing action here. And not everyone making it to the finish with quite the same class, but Still a lot of fun to watch. Then it was over to Gwingoyo for their Skyline tournament. And man, this was fun. And these guys did not play nice. Look at this, flipping that one dude right upside down. But a lot of fun. Then over to We Race Diecast, and the plethora of party wagons were spinning their way down his track. There's been so much action on there. We featured one of them the other week. And of course, he's next on the DIRS roster as well. Right, we head into street racing next and we're gonna kick off with the Canyon Outlaws where we did something a bit different. This was built versus bought. So straight out of the pack versus the Outlaws. And this was just an incredible race between Caven and that Jag. The Jag got right underneath Caven going into Kahuna Corner. And then it was just neck and neck to the finish line with Caven taking the win. Yeah, it was crazy how close that was overall. Commotion Diecast Street Racing is proving to be full of action as well. I love this particular one. You see this truck out in front, blazes away, but look at the way he handles that last corner. You see it in this replay, he comes down, comes around this corner, and then into the 90, does this big power slide to sit into it. It was just the perfect line. Look at that. Absolutely stunning bit of driving. Wow, that was impressive. Now, everybody has been waiting for King of the Mountain tournament to kick off, and it did not disappoint. Luke H there, I don't know if you noticed that, but Luke H, the blue car, was on the inside lane when he changed lanes going around there, but was still fast. Look how close he was to finishing there. Other people that have changed lanes there have just wiped out. Diecast Dragger put on a good show with the King of the Scythe Raceway competition. So this was the El Camino challenging the current King, and man, there was some Awesome racing action there. I'm really enjoying this outdoor track and I love the way the theming is coming along as well. And then Road Warriors over at Hot Car Track carries on. If you haven't seen this series, check it out because there is tons of racing action, but we like this particular race. This car well out in front, but then just gets it all wrong coming out of that final turn. Redline Salvage Inc. going past for the win. And then over to Flat Rabbit for the Pink's Pizza Delivery Driver competition. Now this is Brock Jensen, this is one of our cars that we sent over and he's trying out for a spot as Pink's pizza delivery driver. This week it was all about time trials and it was so much fun. There's heaps of cars competing and there's a big jump at the end but we're really impressed with how well that Mustang stayed flat through that jump. Have a look at that one, a lot of fun. And then we're going to finish off with underground diecast racing. So they were doing something a bit different before it's only been four cars. This time it was eight and a true fast and furious competition. And there was some great racing action here. Cars swapping positions, wiping out. It was just brilliant. So much fun. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this track and I love how crisp and clear that is considering how dark it is. All right, into special events, we're going to kick off with Top Driver, who have adjusted their track to make it a rally track. So they've added mid-track jumps, which is, well, the Evo just wiped out there, but you see that mid-jump there, 
and then they've got some rough patches on the track, made it a lot more challenging and a lot of fun. Then it was the final Frozen 4 banger over at Rust Belt Racing, Josh putting on a great show yet again, lots of action on such a short track. I just love this one, this dude winning in front with a big roof slide. Sonora diecast going fast and furious and I love the way this charger handled that. You watch it from this angle, he goes up, gets right up on his nose, basically nollies most of the way around this corner. Look at that, he's right up on his nose that whole way and then goes through for the win. Then Flat Rabbit on top of the Pink's Pizza Delivery Drive also put on the Monster Mod Stock and it was awesome. Unfortunately that was us losing there but man it was so much fun. Gravity Throttle Racing put on another great show. Really enjoying this rally track. It's beautifully designed. I love that drift start. And this particular race here was stunning. Check out this overtake coming through this s bin here. Absolutely perfectly timed bit of driving. Just fantastic. And I love this egg bed section at the end. Really sorts the good drivers out from the bad. But that is just a brilliant move right there. Finally, DRC with their new track putting on a great show, lots of action. Considering it's lamed the whole way, there were plenty of exciting moments in this and just that huge big air jump at the end, I love it. Into Track Spy, Live Young Diecast, we featured them before but they have just launched their new track so this is going to be out for the DIRS, it's coming to them very soon. And this track is going to be a brilliant one. I love the theme, I love the mid-track jumps and stuff. It's absolutely stunning. Great work, guys. Looking forward to seeing that. And actually something for us tonight, launching the new stadium track. So keep an eye out for this one. This is unlike anything you've seen before. And we're going to be putting out an actual race video on this very soon, along with the brand new hill climb track. That's right, a proper hill climb up the top and back down, not just reverse footage. So keep an eye out for that one. All right, into replays of the week. We're gonna kick off with the Benfit bump. So this one here, check this out. Benfit got all sorts of wrong and then bounces up, flips right over and manages to do it without smashing his face into the ground. And of course, the V8s couldn't be left out. They got all sorts of crazy for the final, just like they did in the heats, with cars going in all directions. But I really like this one where you see Ezra Dillon here, comes over, gets flipped back on his roof, almost goes over again, but got it under control. Then we go over to Jackson Pass and four cars goes into three. <laughs> and this car here just balanced on the edge of the canyon, so close to death. Then Tune Tracks Racing, this monster motorsport Lambo just got all sorts of crazy going into that corner, just pushing too hard because he didn't want to lose to that GT90 yet again. And then we had to show more of the Lamborghini tournaments. These overtakes we talked about before were absolutely brilliant. Love that one, but I also like this one. Gab Formoso there getting under the black Lambo and then around the outside of the blue Lambo to take the win. That was just an absolutely superb drive. And then another pink drive. I just really love this car with this pizza box on a giant spring on the top of the car. And it was incredible how well it handled that jump. I think that spring worked as a counterbalance and made it land even better than it should have. And then I really enjoyed this race here in the monster trucks. There was so much lane swapping. I love the way the drivers got around each other so often. And then this one here, where Maze actually got cut off by another driver and slammed into the wall for the win. And then there's this one from DRC. So the El Camino goes through pretty clean, but check this Camaro out and behind getting spanked off the track. And then here, we talked about it before, those double humps providing lots of action. Okay, that's the show for tonight. We hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, keep an eye out for the new Canyon tracks coming out very soon ahead of the full rally. But also make sure you head over to redlinederby.com, enter your track in the track directory, enter your races in the race directory, and let's make this community as big as possible. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Tom Spanners Watson, he's Frank the Guru Gibbs, and we look forward to seeing you next time.